feta cheese in your Greek salad or a warm pair of woolen socks. I bet that every person here has come in contact with at least one sheep or goat product. But have you ever considered where it came from? Sure, the label will probably say made in Greece, but what does this mean? These products come from Greek sheep or goats like the ones you see behind me. This scene is actually from the village where I work, and it's a common one. You have your shepherd caring for his flock and his grandson with a newborn lamb nestled under his arm. Shepherding is clearly a family affair, and it's actually a process that goes back thousands of years. But at what point did shepherding like this become popular in Greece? When did their shepherding story begin? Imagine this same village in Greece 2,500 years ago. Archaeology shows us that sheep and goats were the most popular animals kept because we find a lot of sheep and goat bones. We also find cheese and wool processing tools. We can't find evidence to show us how sheep were shepherded. So, my doctoral research uses a new method in order to see ancient shepherding practices. You've all heard the saying, you are what you eat. Using biochemical analysis, I record what sheep were eating, which tells me how they were managed. And in order to explain this, I want you to picture yourself as one of the fluffy Greek sheep. You're eating grass. The grass grew in soils that are geologically specific to that region. It grew using summer moisture from the local stream. All of these factors, the what, the where, and the when, are specific. By eating that grass, you incorporate those markers into your body. Your body essentially stores clues about your past diet. But how do I take those clues to understand how ancient sheep were shepherded? I work with teeth. Those small, hard, white objects in your mouth hold multiple years' worth of information about past diet. So I take an archaeological tooth and slice it, grind it into a powder. I can biochemically analyze one month worth of sheep diet. I can record what and where sheep are eating at different points throughout the year. And what I found is that the sheep were eating the same food year round, but they were moving with their shepherds seasonally. 2,500 years ago, we thought that sheep and goats were kept locally and in pens. Instead, shepherds were moving with their flocks between villages just like they are. Because of a single tooth, I've been able to connect ancient practices with this family's history. This has implications for village history, Greek history, and even global economies that rely on different shepherding practices, like dairy farming in Alberta. Ultimately, sheep and goat products, made in Greece, have a much older history than we ever thought. So the next time you bite into that feta cheese, think about the history behind that bite, and hopefully, I've given you some food for thought. Thank you.